Charlton's home fixture against Portsmouth on September the 14th saw Bob Boulder making his 400th league and cup appearance. Simon Webster, who scored his first goal for Charlton against Tranmere the previous week, was making his 50th league and cup appearance for the club. Here's Steve Dixon. Welcome to Upton Park this afternoon for this Barclays League Division 2 fixture, Charlton Athletic against Portsmouth. Here at Upton Park, of course, Charlton temporarily lodging with their good friends and neighbours, West Ham United, here while the valley being rebuilt. But going through the two teams for this afternoon's encounter, Portsmouth in goal, Alan Knight. Number two is Andy Orford. Three, John Beresford. Four, Chris Burns. Five, Kit Simons. Six, Lee Russell. Seven is Darren Anderton. Martin Cool at eight. Colin Clark at nine. Guy Whittingham at ten. And a very potent pair, those two certainly are. Eleven is Daryl Powell. And the two Pompey substitutes, Warren Aspinall at twelve. And Stuart Dowling at fourteen. Looking now at the Charlton lineup, and there we're looking at Bob Boulder. Bob Boulder in goal for Charlton, making his 400th league appearance for the club for all his clubs this afternoon Charlton, Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday and Liverpool 400 appearances league and cup in all and Bob Boulder reaching another milestone at two for Charlton is Darren Pitcher three is Scott Minto four is Andy Peake five is Simon Webster six Steve Gatting seven Robert Lee eight Paul Bacon Carl Lieburn at nine Gary Nelson at ten number 11 Colin Walsh and the two substitutes are Alex Dyer and Steve Gritt Referee Smith checks with his linesman and we're underway here at Upton Park. Portsmouth kicking from left to right, attacking the North Bank end here at Upton Park, wearing all blue. Charlton, of course, in their familiar colours of red shirts, white shorts and red socks. And he peeked with the corner for Charlton, right-footed, looking far post. Webster's up, the header comes in, palmed away by Alan Knight. And at the second attempt, the goalkeeper retrieves it and Simon Webster as we mentioned earlier, scored his first goal for the club at Tranmere about 10 or 11 days ago and came very close indeed to adding a second. And here's Gary Nelson now, what can he do? Cuts inside, checks back, the shot comes in from Nelson against the crossbar! And Gary Nelson so unlucky. 23 minutes gone here in this second division fixture at Upton Park. Charlton nil, Portsmouth nil, but now Charlton breaking with Andy Peake and now Colin Walsh. Colin Walsh got Scott Minto out on the left-hand side. He's seen him now. Scott Minto overlapping well. Minto with time and space to get the cross in. Comes in low. Looking for Nelson. And now the chance possibly for Nelson. Oh, dear. Gary Nelson couldn't quite get his foot around the ball because Charlton had worked a good opening there with Walsh and Minto combining on the left flank. Robert Lee, good challenge. And that's stayed on. And will Nelson get there in front of Russell? He will. And Nelson does exceptionally well there to get the ball across. It's away by Orford. Here's Peak, And Minto will have to work for that one. And does well. Looks got Minto. Andy Peak again with the second chance. He's looking for someone to play it to. Oh dear. And here's Clark now for Pompey. But Minto, well played, Scott Minto. The under 21 international there. Recovered his ground superbly. Lee forward. Looking for Nelson. Lee Burn. Lee Burn is away now. Chance for Charlie Burn to cross. He pulls it back for Nelson. It's there. 1 0 Charlton. And it's Gary Nelson. And it's the Carl Lee Burn deserves the congratulations of Colin Walsh. Goes to Carl Lee Burn. And indeed he might because the big fella did exceptionally well there. And now Gary Nelson will go across. And Lee Burn and Nelson exchange congratulations. And well they might because Carl Lieburn did superbly on 29 minutes there to set the ball up for Gary Nelson who swept the ball past Alan Knight Charlton 1, Portsmouth 0 Minto Walsh lovely touch from Walsh and now Andy Peake for Charlton Nelson left hand side Lieburn pinning away towards the right hand side Lieburn for Charlton the header comes in lacked a little power Carl Lieburn but Charlton looking likely here at Upton Park this afternoon. Peak shorts to Walsh. Walsh towards Lee. Lee with a chance to get the shot in. And Lee has scored a beautiful goal for, Robert, for Charlton, Robert Lee. And that was simplicity itself. And the Portsmouth defenders look at each other and wonder who was marking Robert Lee. And the answer is nobody. 
and that is a superb goal for Charlton and a superb goal for Robert Lee and that's two excellent goals Charlton scored this afternoon 43 minutes gone Charlton Athletic 2 Portsmouth 0 20 seconds of injury time already played in the first half there can't be much remaining Gary Nelson was down for a short period so too was Robert Lee there can't be much more of the first half to go here's Whittingham and now Bacon finds Walsh Walsh looks up finds Minto Charlton's passing first class so far this afternoon Walsh comes to take the ball off Minto Colin Walsh playing with real confidence this afternoon goes to take on Anderton now Minto down the line chance to get the cross in Scott Minto he does so towards Nelson and now Robert Lee and oh so close Robert Lee and the linesman's flag out of your picture stayed down and really and honestly Robert Lee will be asking himself how he didn't make that 3-0 Long kick from downfield from Boulder. Leeburn, lovely control from Carl Leeburn. Peak shoots the ball out to the left hand side. Nelson peels off. Orford comes to challenge. Nelson back for Walsh. What can he do? He can swing the cross in, looking for Leeburn. Carl Leeburn tried the volley. And he peak. Oh, I say. Gary Nelson, rather. And what a fine effort by the former Plymouth and Swindon striker. That would have been a most spectacular goal. And if they can turn this domination into goals, we could be in for one or two more in this second half. Short for Robert Lee. Robert Lee takes on Beresford. Chips across goal. Steve Gatting. Nelson with the overhead, saved by Alan Knight. But once again, Gary Nelson looking ever more likely to add to his tally this afternoon. Charlton really could do with another goal here this afternoon. They were comfortably leading Portsmouth at Sellers Park last season, I recall when Colin Clark pulled the goal back with eight with five minutes remaining to make the last five minutes rather nail biting for the Charlton fans. A third goal would be nice, would give the team a cushion. Across from Peak and Knight had to palm it away from Andy Peak and it's another corner, this time on the near side. Charlton have got Pompey under the cosh here at Upton Park. Walsh with the corner, far post, Lee Burn gets up, Knight punches away, Robert Lee trying to find Walsh, oh, Be Beresford just gets there in front of Walsh and gets the ball back to his keeper. Lee Burn battling, Lee Burn with a chance, Lee Burn challenging Knight, Knight holding the fella off. And Beresford brings the ball away for Portsmouth, near side of the field, Beresford sprinting into the Charlton half, rather forgot to take the ball with him there unfortunately for Jim Smith's team, but Russell now with space, rather too much time, too much space, looking for Clark, Clark the ball back in for Aspinall, Aspinall with a shot, Boulder with the save. Beresford's got a fine strike on him as we've already seen, so has Martin Cole, 13 goals last season, Martin Cole opts instead to play the ball wide to Anderton, Anderton checks back on his left foot, the cross comes in, Leeburn with a good header away, and now Robert Lee breaks for Charlton on the right-hand side, near side of the field. Robert Lee, 30 yards, 40 yards, Paul Bacon streaking up in support. Robert Lee goes round one, goes round another, now Robert Lee with a chance of Charlton. The shot goes in, oh, Robert Lee. I'm not sure whether that was a shot at goal or a cross for Gary Nelson. But either way, it was a yard past the far post and a yard in front of Gary Nelson. Lee down the line. Leeburn on the chase with Andy Orford. And Leeburn gets there in front of Orford. Leeburn turns away. The cross for Nelson. The chance for Alex Dyer. Saved by Knight. And Alex Dyer could have marked his first touch with a goal. But as it was, Knight made a good save. Grit forward for Nelson. And Simon steps in and does well. Cool sweeps the ball in. Darren Pitcher does well to get the ball away. Paul Bacon battles with Ferns. The Ferns. Oh. And that really sums up Portsmouth's performance this afternoon. 
from 25 yards there. Chris Burns really should have done a great deal better with that. But as it was, he fired wide. And Bob Bowler's been troubled at the most twice in this match by actual efforts on goal. And apart from that, he's had to collect a few back passes and one or two hopeful crosses into the box. But all in all, his 400th league and cup appearance must have been one of its easiest. Dyer for Charlton. Peak. Nelson. Peak again. Robert Lee. Bacon. Into the space. Paul Bacon. Nelson's calling. Robert Lee. Oh, this is going to be a great goal. This is going to be a superb goal for Charlton. And that is the game wrapped up and the points wrapped up. And that is the best goal of the afternoon. And credit to Paul Bacon and to Gary Nelson because Paul Bacon ran into the space. Gary Nelson's score was a good one. Gary Nelson's dummy was an even better one. And Robert Lee's finish was superb. And on 86 minutes, Robert Lee makes it 3-0 for Charlton. And when they come to choose a man in the match this afternoon, there'll be a number of candidates. Simon Webster's had a super game at the heart of the Charlton defence. Robert Lee, two of the best goals you're likely to see from one game. But my vote, I think, has got to go to Gary Nelson. And there indeed is the final whistle. September 14th was also a particularly good day for Geoffrey Williams of Bromley. Geoffrey was the winner of the £20,000 prize in the Valley Gold draw. And he can be seen here receiving his cheque from Roger Alwyn and Mike Norris. Talking to Charlton player coach Steve Gritt. Steve, another fine performance this afternoon. Yes, I really delighted with the performance. Um, the lads have just kept on the form they showed in the last few games. And... Uh, it was a great result for us. Three of the best goals you'll ever see, I'd have thought. Uh, well, hopefully you'll see a lot more. But, um, yes, I mean, any goal, as far as I'm concerned, if we've scored it, it's a good goal. I don't care how it gets in the back of the net, but uh, the goals today were particularly good, obviously, especially Robert Lee's first goal. What about Scott Minto? He's, obviously, he's had to come off at half-time and you've come on in his place. What's the situation with him? Well, Scott was, uh, he was a doubt really up to today, um, but he felt he could probably get through the game. Unfortunately, he's uh, aggravated his hamstring again. Uh, so he's now looking doubtful for Tuesday. How do you fancy your chances against Sunderland? They lost quite heavily today. Yes, obviously, you know, as I said before today, I was quietly confident with today's game, and uh, I've got to be quietly confident before Tuesday's game. But all in all, I mean, this has been a super start of the season. Yes, yes, something we've uh, got to carry on, though. Um, it's no good getting, a decent, not getting off to a decent start and then throwing it away after a few games. Uh, we've got to carry on the hard work, keep playing the football, and uh, hopefully keep getting the results.